gonna warm up. Made famous as the Daily Bugle in Spider Man. And then it opened, I was like, oh my god. and head to Walmart today. Static shop. We tried this on Sunday, but we're gonna make it this time, so let's go. So like I said, we're heading to Port Authority bus terminal. We've got some tickets and we didn't, we got the wrong tickets last time, so we're gonna head into the customer service and get it sorted. But for that, we've got to walk through Times Square while it's still half asleep, because there's not a lot of people around. Yeah, so let's go to the Port Authority bus terminal and get some tickets sorted. <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> so we made it to Port Authority bus terminal. We're going to go to customer service and sort our tickets out and then head over to New Jersey on the bus. So we've got all our tickets sorted now, it was an extra five dollars to get there but we've just found out as well if you go, do plan on getting the bus to anywhere in like New Jersey out of the city and that, children tickets are for under 11, 11's on under so we're going upstairs. Uh, so let's get on the bus and head to Walmart. I'm so tickets are in our hands and the bus is ready to go. Excited? Yeah. yeah. Gonna warm up. on the bus don't do that <laughs> luckily enough there, were, there wasn't much of importance in the bag but I've just been pissed off or anything. I'm out of breath because I just chased the bus it let me back on thankfully but we've made it to Walmart we're gonna head in and have a look around and get all the stuff we've been missing since we came last so let's head in Walmart and have a look <laughs> so there's a McDonald's in there and that's the main entrance. This is the grocery of pharmacy side. Got a picture for time. I'm gonna get a picture. <laughs> In another state, this is New Jersey now. This is very familiar. It's a lot more familiar than uh, New York. It's absolutely massive as like all of them, but let's have a look around.
peanut butter cookies for 3 98 in this one. Snickerdoodle, macadamia, frosted sugar cookies that everyone raves about, 4 48 here. Pink and blue. Ooh, what are they? Sandwich sugar cookies. Ooh. Oh. What are they? Chip, I might get some for the plane. Yeah, get some for the plane, that'd be good. Chocolate chip. Yeah, I've got the pecan pie, apple pie, cherry pie, blueberry, strawberry, and obviously the pumpkin pie is uh, seasonal. But cinnamon cake, lemon cake, lemon pie, ooh. I think I'm going to pick myself up a pecan pie though. 67 cents. 67 cents. We have these sandwiches. You can eat them hot or cold. We have some breakfast ones as well there. Philly cheesesteak sub for 4 47 that's good. They do have the massive pumpkin pie. I don't think I'm going to get that home and eat that. And they have a sweet potato pie as well. But they're much, much bigger. But those ones are $5.24 for that massive pie. There's the Starbucks lemon cake that everyone raves about. That's my favourite. I love that. Lemon loaf cake. They do a three pack as well there. And this is just a fresh section. The deli counter over there with the rest rotisserie chickens in there. Looks so good. Back on familiar, familiar territory of Walmart. Oh, ben and Jerry's thick mint top, chocolate chip cookie dough, fish food, all the classics. Ice creams there. Oh, look at that! That you like? They have the great value breakfast bowls, which are two forty-three compared to the Jimmy Dean ones, which are two eighty-two. That's not too, too not bad. We're in New Jersey slash New York. Ah, oh, cinnamon toast French sticks. I've missed these bad boys. There's the original ones. The original one. cinnamon. Oh, There's the pancakes. Three sixteen. Frozen pancakes. Obviously we are in New Jersey, New York, we're not going to be, this isn't Orlando, completely different. They are probably going to stock other stuff that we don't have in we're Orlando. Not but we're not buying it because we're going home in a few days, so we've literally got like three days left. Yeah, so we've got uh, some idea where we can get, oh, Texas toast. No, breadsticks. Oh, yes. Breadsticks. So good. Anybody for some? Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip, yeah. You mean cool whip. However, there is one thing we need to find in Walmart. A bottle of prime for the little one. She's yes. been dying to try it. All the pizzas you can imagine. Just found 3.97. Basically, muck rib, muck patties, like from the funnels, basically. So much options. There's the orange juice, 5.58 per gallon. So they do have the massive pot of char of pickles, a gallon of pickles. <laughs> oh, sweet relish. Yum. All your pickles and stuff like that. Olives, pickles, sauces. Chick fil A sauce, we've got a bottle of that in the bar basket. There it is. Big boxes, bottles of mar oh, we've got some barbecue sauce, a big one. Are we get any or uh, we get a bottle. Uh, original ranch. Olive garden dressing. Mayo's, stock standard. Muffins and cookies and. Yeah. Bagels, muffins, wraps, everything you can imagine. Oh, bread, wonder bread down there. I don't know what that's so wonderful about it. So much stuff. You even do like Taco Bell tacos in here. Taco Bell, yeah. uh, crunchy sh ta taco shells there. And they have like the Taco Bell seasonings as well. We're gonna get some season. Oh, we're I getting some, we've got to get some. They got chipotle sauce from Taco Bell. All the pasta sauce as you can imagine. 
Alfredo sauce though. Oh, but we can't do it at home. It's plastic. Yeah, plastic, plastic yeah. Loads of mac and cheese. So we're bringing some of these pasta mixes home basically. They're dry pasta mixes, you just add to it when you get home. So if you want to bring stuff like that home, you can. It's just dry pasta with some herbs and spices and flavorings. Definitely worth doing if you want to try some different things like creamy garlic shells. Don't get that home, do you? Just found a 4.54 kilogram bag of flour. How do you need that much flour? Special limited edition Lucky Charms at Turn Your Milk Green for St. Patrick's Day. So seeing as it's so early in the year, this year what we're doing is we're doing uh, pick your own birthday cake. So we're going to get one of these and take it home and have it for our birthday. I've chosen butter pecan. Amy's chosen white cake. And Lily chose the super moist red velvet cake, each for her birthdays. So there's the giant box of mega, mega size of Lucky Charms of $5.98 compared to what we're paying for the little ones. That's the little one there. How much is that? The little one, three forty-eight. dollars It's like 4 or $5 in New York. All the cereal you can imagine all the seasonings and sauces and rubs. Yeah. This stuff, everything bagel seasoning on eggs is amazing. Oh, we're in my favorite section now, teas and coffees. Not too bothered about American tea. Yeah, I wanted half and half, but I don't know. There's all the coffees here. You watch them not have my Dunkin' that I want. Oh no, there it is, I see it. What is that? Caramel pecan? Cups, yeah, K cups. Mm -hmm. There we go. $8.72. Boom. Straight in my basket. Eleven ninety eight for a nice massive bag of peanut butter M&Ms for a two pound bag. Not bad. I'm gonna do all the other. Oh, we got biscuits now. Sweets, M&M's, Kisses, Reese's, Sweets, the Twizzlers and the Skittles. Massive bag of gold, a three pound bag of Haribo for 10.88. Sour Patch, big bags and everything. 300 pops of Dum Dum, massive bags. Lifesavers, Tootsie Rolls, mid -G's. There's that one there. That one. That's a, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tanya would appreciate 400. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, the crisps. Look at that. Cheetos, Doritos, popcorn, everything you can imagine. And the obligatory photo of the cheese balls. So we just tried these Hawaiian punch for the first time in. Uh, one of the smaller bottles, but they do massive bottles in Walmart for like 258. But they're absolutely huge. A gallon of Hawaiian punch and so many different flavors. Watermelon berry, lemonade, blue, berry blue. That looks nice. Yeah, Arizona tea, if you like that. I'm gonna try. Big gallon. I like that one. That's all I want. Totally like Found the water mix-ins. Got yeah, loads of different flavors. Strawberry kiwi, mixed berries. She's getting loads of Kool Aid. Getting loads of Kool Aid eh, for your friends as well. Uh, you get Starburst, Hawaiian Punch. Oh no, she's chucking them everywhere. So I'm just coming up to the eggs to see how much they are here and see if the prices are as crazy as everyone's saying. $2.84 for a 12 large. 18 is 4 20 so it's not that bad. Not too bad. Eight dollars for eighteen large. It's not too bad. As everyone's making out, and this is February. Yeah, let's do that. Get a little American flag for the chicken coop. Yeah, 
So if you haven't seen these, these are circle. Basically, you fill the bottle with water and these cartridges have got different flavours in and you can get all different flavours of like juice basically, but it's just drinking water. I feel like we need it. It's too heavy. We'll have to bring it back when we've got more weight. We'll go to Florida, when we go to Florida, yeah. We've got double weight there. So we've got a stove, uh, what is it? A log burner. A log burner. Like and we want to get a kettle, but it's too much weight. <gasps> you found the bubbers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we've headed into the clothes section. I'm begrudgingly to me. I'm just looking at the clothes. I've got some nice bits though. T-shirts are cool. They have cotton candy with popping candy in it for 350. Awesome some lots of Easter stuff at the moment because it's coming up to Easter. Everything's getting ready. Watermelon peeps, marshmallows, Dr. Pepper marshmallow peeps, that'd be cool. Chocolate pudding flavour peeps, anybody? Got so just come over to the 50% off Valentine's Day stuff because it's obviously just been and gone a couple of days ago. So all the Valentine's plushies and teddies and random, random bits of Valentine's Day gifts that didn't sell obviously, so gone on sale. But why do you need that? I thought it was a headband. No, it's a state. Oh, that's cool. It's a headband. And it's like chocolate pinatas, teddies. What, why would you need that? A big massive metal sign saying, Be mine. Be mine. Uh -uh. If you want to make a big bold gesture. <laughs> no, I've never had. So we just found some plushies in the Valentine's pit. Smell like strawberries, it smells so nice. And there's a few down there, isn't there? I don't know where they are. They were, just, they were just in that box there. <laughs> so we just come around the other side and there's loads of other bits. Just treats for cats, there's teddies, there's little decorations and icing stuff. Hershey's pot of gold chocolate. Silicon moulds, there's like that lights up apparently. Oh, that's, that's cute. nice. Nice little decoration for your rooms. Yeah. Obviously all this is reduced down because it's Valentine's Day been and gone. I that. I mean. Ooh, cookie icing. We've got a whole section of Easter candies and sweets everywhere. Massive selection. All the big bags. They go mental for every like kind of holiday, don't they really? Oh my god, how big is that? That's massive. $25 because it's a Valentine's Day one. That's cool. It's not worth your neck. So we've whittled it down to what we actually really want. And our basket, well, trolley is full of all the things we want to take home. Some of it's going to be eaten now or later, but yeah. See how much this comes to in a minute. So what do we think the total is? Have a guess in the comments below. Five, four, three, two. You got one without a tag. Oh, there it is. One, it's going to be. Can you move your stuff off the thing? We're just finished in Walmart and there's a McDonald's in here. We're going to grab some Macadies just quickly. We've got frozen Coke and Fanta. And then obviously that's just the normal McDonald's menu. They have got that thing I had the other day, iced coffees and all sorts, so I'm gonna go sit down and eat. But only came to $260, which isn't too bad. So we're all done in Walmart and McDonald's, and we're literally laden with all our stuff. We're gonna go head back over to the bus stop and wait for the bus back into New York. So let's go get on the bus. Whew. It's quite heavy. So we're at Harmon Meadow. I can't even say it. it's the case. We can say it's the chaos. New York workshop, dine play, 
Uh, basically, it's like a bigger area with like shopping and stuff like that. And they've got Dunkin, Subway, and all that over there. They've got the stuff there. There's that Walmart's just up here. If you go down further, it's quite a big, quite a big area, if I'm honest. And then just turn around. We're at the bus stop. That's Sam's Club there, and the Walmart's just beyond that. If you're wondering if you wanted to come over, if you're in New York and wanted to go to Walmart. There isn't one in actual New York, there is in New Jersey. back to the room oh that was a long sweaty walk back carry all that 260 quid's worth of dollars. stuff dollars worth of stuff so we're gonna unpack and try and sort it all out and put it into our bags and stuff so we make sure we're not going to go over weight limit but we're a lot happier after been to walmart we chilled like out walmart trip, is there? just chilled out for five ten minutes just to get our breath back because that was a bit of a trek back from the bus port so we're just heading back out for a couple of hours now just to a few extra little bits but we've just we've been dodging the rain for the last week um, it hasn't been in it so we just stepped outside now and there's rain so we're gonna have to grab the umbrellas and head out into the wet and the streets of New York. What are you filming with for? Just showing the people the knobhead. It's no, never rude. It's, it's just true. Like some umbrella. Do you like one umbrella or two umbrella? I think I've got the duff one. It's not too wet. Just arrived at the Nintendo store. I've been wanting to look. I'll just have a quick look in. See what's about. Get some pictures. Let's go!
That is impressive. Play Mario on Nintendo Switch. Oh, look at the old collections there. All the original consoles. No, we don't have Mario Kart. Had that one, had that one. Oh, the DS, you had your DS, you loved your DS. Yes. You know you can get that on Nintendo Switch. I remember the Game Boy Color and the Game I've left those two in uh, Urban Outfitters quickly. I'm going to run down to the corner here. There's Dunkin' Donuts. I've got myself a Dunkin'. I'm flagging. There we go. Heading towards Dunkin'. Grab myself a coffee. One dollar classic donut, too, maybe. That's a good deal. Getting that. So I picked up a Dunkin'. It was 4 26 but I got a coffee with cream and a strawberry sprinkled donut. Yum. So we're just coming up to the New York Public Library made famous in Ghostbusters. Absolutely love the film, so I thought we'd come and have a look at the outside of the library. We're not going to go in. Let's cross over though. come down to the flat iron building which is under scaffolding unfortunately and we're gonna head over to cross the road as well to the Harry Potter shop but this is the flat iron building made famous as the Daily Bugle in Spider-Man and the Green Goblin that's so cool though Come here to see that as well, Harry Potter, New York. Gonna have a quick look in the Harry Potter shop. Probably won't buy anything. Full ice cream bar, butter beer. Fantastic beast lounge vibe, shapes like uh, Niffler. And all the ones, look at that.
like the honey jukes, you can buy butter beer, every flavour beans. I've got a chocolate frog at home, haven't I? Yeah. Got the card. Found a unicorn. <laughs> Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. That is amazing. Railing is actually a one all the way around. clearance our half price stuff jumpers t-shirts and christmas bits we've got some bottles and stuff like that look at that that is no price some cards for a dollar Yeah, I think we've done enough Harry Potter stars. How cool is that? I have an official, authentic prop of this golden snitch. $300 for a fire bolt if you want one. No? <laughs> no? You sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If it works, I'll buy it for 300 bucks. That'll be that'll be a bargain. Another authentic prop. There's the one where you have to go in the bath, love. That's amazing. We're 
going to go head into the lift of the, the Ministry of Magic. Watch this. back upstairs. They also have Ron Weasley's broken wand just on the way out. And Hermione Granger's authentic wand and the Deathly Hallows part two. And we're going to head back out into the streets. Just come to the other side and the flat iron building looks better on this side but it's still under construction but anyway we're going back down on the subway down to 49th street and then back to the road Five of New York City in the bag. We went to Walmart today, which isn't in New York, it's in New Jersey. So if you want to go to Walmart in New York, you can't. Just hop on a bus 20 minutes down the road and then you get to Walmart. Uh, it's a little mini adventure inside of a bigger adventure. So if you enjoyed the video, oh yeah, we also went to Harry Potter. That was fun. Um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe and share. And we shall see you in the next one for another adventure. Be happy.